Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a fully functional 3D printed key as well as how to use that 3D printed key to make a metal key. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is go to OpenSCAD.org and download OpenSCAD. So OpenSCAD is a 3D modeling program that instead of having a user interface, it works all by programming. So just go ahead and download that. And once you've downloaded that, I'll put a link in the description for this file. So Narav Patel created a Schlage and a Quickset version of this and this is really the best part about OpenSCAD. So you could make a model that's easily changeable even to a person that doesn't have any modeling experience. So here we have a key, it's a Schlage key with all eight cuts. So let's say you had a key that was one, two, three, four, five. So when you're done you want to go ahead Go to the design at the top, click compile and render, and it's going to compile the key for you. Okay, so here we have our finished key. And, and so you just enter in whatever the key cuts are for your key. And if you don't know them, you can measure them with calipers and check the depth of your key. But the cool part about this is that you can save a digital copy of your key. And if you lose your, per your your physical key and it's the only key you have, you can print the key out, take it to your local hardware store, and they'll make a, another physical copy for you. So once you're done with this, you want to go ahead and file, export as an STL, which is the file that the 3D printer needs. And once you get it into your slicer for your printer, just go ahead and save it to your SD card and put it in the printer. Now we're going to take this Schleg blank and our newly printed key and we're going to go cut this blank out by copying this key. Okay, so once you have the blank all cut out, let's go ahead and try the, the new key. So, door's locked. I just locked it. There we go. So, so yeah. Okay, so this key actually will work, but you probably don't want to rely on this other than getting in maybe once or twice because it, it can break if you print it out of a more rigid plastic it won't be such a big of a deal but for me it actually fits in pretty nice except the shoulder of this print doesn't really let me push the key all the way in so I have to snip the edges off yeah so once I cut these edges off the door is locked the door is unlocked and you could reuse this it's just if you're lock isn't new like this one is, then you might have a lot harder of a time and it'll eventually break off. So, yeah. Alright guys, well I hope you liked that video and if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel. See ya.